Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster. Today we're going to be doing episode 2 of the Throne Room Diorama series. And um, before we do get into the actual like time lapses and me continuing the diorama, I want to ad to uh, actually like address a few things. So first up, I originally said that this would be a weekly series, and I still plan on releasing videos weekly, but there isn't like a certain date I want to release it. It's not going to be like every Saturday or every Monday, like Ask Lucas Monster is. It'll just be whenever I get it done. If I don't already have a video uploaded that day, I will upload uh, the next video in the series. And um, some people are asking how long is the series going to be? Probably five or six episodes, as long as it takes to me to actually like finish the the uh, diorama itself. So it could be five, six, seven videos. I don't plan on making that many, but if it takes that long, that's how many it'll be. And um, also, like I said, it'd be a weekly series, and it's been two over two weeks now since I've uploaded a video on the diorama here. And uh, that's for a few reasons. One. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I'm not a professional diorama maker. Uh, this is my one of my first dioramas, actually, and I want to make sure I do it right. I know the last one I messed up, and I didn't want to completely restart, so I just scrapped the series, and I actually want to finish this one, and I want to do it right. So, um, yeah, I did like kind of take a week off to figure out what I'm doing, and uh, that kind of comes down to uh, last week. We did a lot of taping on the inside of uh, these little like windows here to... Um, like try to cover up as you can definitely tell up here it's like very flaky very like uh I, I keep calling them like little fuzzies basically but that's just from where like i was cutting and um i like lifted the blade and then went back and it like left a little bit where it didn't cut and that's all over this thing and it looks pretty bad and i wanted to like tape it down but the problem is the tape is not sticking and um i mean that's just how it is it's like a weird thin tape it's not good and um i thought of two things i could glue the tape down but that really just like there's no point of having tape then if I'm just gonna glue it down and um, I've seen a lot of comments saying Mod Podge would work so this episode I think I'm gonna Mod Podge it and um, then I will work on the side windows that go like around which I'll throw up an image of, like what I'm talking about but um, yeah so I think I'm gonna try to Mod Podge all of these uh, windows real quick and then uh, get rid of the tape that's on it because the tape is just not working and however it comes out if there's still the fuzzies afterwards that's how I'm gonna paint it I I spent, what, two or three weeks now on just trying to get rid of these, and it's not worth the time. So if I if it still has the fuzzies after I Mod Podge it, then it's going to have that on the final mock, and it's just going to live with it. Hopefully the paint will kind of cover it up a little bit more, and you won't be able to see it, but uh, that's just how it's going to be. But hopefully the Mod Podge does work. I've actually already gone a little bit on uh, this one right here, and it's a little bit better than it was before, but there's still some of those big cuts where it just... they they're just cuts though like it's hard to flatten it out because they're actual cuts themselves and um i will probably go into some sandpaper try to get rid of it now that it's actually hardened from the mod podge but uh but yeah and then i also want to go and talk about some of my plans for the diorama if you are new to it so um i am making emperor palpatine's throne room as a diorama as you can tell by emperor palpatine right in front of you so this is two six inch scale with the six inch palpatine and throne in front of you and um, I kind of want to go big on this mock. So, of course, I have the window here. If you guys did miss the first episode, go check out this video right now pinned in the card so you guys can catch up. But um, So I made the base window here, and I want to start making the uh, side windows. And one big thing is these are at an angle, so I might make this out of cardboard and have somehow glue them onto the edge. And um, I, I really don't need this like blank space right here, so either I'll end up cutting it or I'll use that as like some of the framework to get the, the right angle on those. And yeah, hopefully that turns out well. I think it will, but I gotta do some design stuff and try to get those angles. And then, right. so the next big like design thing, part of uh, the diorama is, of course, Palpatine's chair isn't at the bottom of the window. It actually sits on like a platform that's like right about there. So I want to make a cardboard like platform. It doesn't have to be cardboard. Some cardboard's what I'm thinking though, and uh, some it'll can like sit up on, elevate it a little bit, and then uh, potentially make even like a stair like down, kind of like it is in the actual uh, movie itself. I think that'd be pretty cool to do. Don't know if it's gonna happen yet, but uh, that's my main idea for this. And of course, I'm gonna paint it up, look just just make it look fancy. So. Uh, yeah, let's go and uh, start Mod Podging this.
we do have that Mod Podge all dried up, and it did help a little bit, but it didn't do a whole lot. There's still those fluffies and everything there. And that's alright, I think I'm just going to leave it. I've already put an episode and a half into it, and I think it's just how it's going to be for the diorama. We are going to put like a black uh, backdrop over it, so hopefully that'll cover it up, and plus, we're, of course, we are painting it gray, so hopefully that darker gray color will kind of mask some of that as well. So I think it's going to turn out alright, and anyway, we have started working on the design for the outside windows now, like I said before. So we do have this, is what I ended up cutting out. We will like end up taping or gluing these bottom parts together. It's hard to do <laughs> with two hands, or yeah, but so it'll go together like that and then that's how it'll go around the window like I said it's hard to do like a uh, just holding it like this but it'll uh, come together that's how you get that nice rounded angle shape for it and yeah I think that'll turn out pretty well so um about like the actual windows in these that you like cut out I tried doing that I made like, a little one piece here that I cut out one it's super flimsy it's like uh stuff like that I don't know if I actually cut it though I feel like these will be too thin and they'll break easily too and plus look at the inside of that it's like all like jagged and uh, hollow as well because it's cardboard so I think I'm actually not gonna end up cutting the windows into it one there's like mistake for me where I could just make it not symmetrical or anything like that and uh, then pretty much the entire thing is ruined or it'll just not be symmetrical, kind of like that. But um, I think I'm just going to get like a black piece of paper and glue it onto the front of this. It'll still have that nice window look, and it'll look so much cleaner weather, <laughs> rather than this jagged-looking piece of cardboard. So, yeah. So let's go and actually make more of this. I think I'm going to get like one really long piece of cardboard to cut this into, because there has to be 24 of these windows that will make it go all the way around. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll turn out well. I have a uh, pretty good idea of what we have going on here. So I have uh, the first half of this. I do have the second one cut out, and I'll bring that out in a second. But we're probably going to end up gluing this like right up here to there and gluing the bottom one down like this. And we're going to glue, like of course, all the edges down to this circle. And that'll keep it up, the structure, with all like the tension pulling this together. You're not going to need any supports on the back to keep it up because uh, it's pretty much sound enough to keep itself up so you pretty much only need to secure it to the circle uh, window itself and that'll hold it together sorry if you can hear like birds and stuff I do have my window open right now but yeah so that'll be secured to this like that and then we will get the second dome here and uh, that's why this piece of tape is here we will secure this part of it to that with some probably we will of course glue it when the time comes and I know you can't see this right here because of course it is uh too big like the camera it's not all on camera but uh, this will come and secure back on down here just like this but mirrored on the other side with it secured up at the top and um, let's get this out of the way so you guys can actually see and uh, you probably noticed that there's like a big gap right here with uh, like the windows and that's because there will be a platform on the bottom where uh, like you know the chair and everything sits on and I figured we don't want it to be super tall where I have to actually like uh, add a bunch of structure to the bottom of it to keep it all up so I figure if we leave that like bottom window uh, open it'll allow us to not make that platform as tall and add a little bit more structure to the window itself so yeah next week we're definitely gonna focus on getting this glued to the window and then the start of that platform and uh, yeah I think this is gonna be pretty good um, hopefully it all turns out well so I will probably end up gluing the uh, like black circles onto the actual window parts itself. I'll probably wait until after I get it all painted to do that. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this. This is turning out better than I thought it would, and uh, yeah, cannot wait. But that is going to actually do it for this week's Diorama Series episode. So if you guys do like the video, uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And make sure you uh, stay tuned so you don't miss any more Diorama Series episodes. So uh, on like the pace we're going right now, we got probably this week or next week we'll be gluing this on and starting the platform. The week after that we will probably be finishing the platform and painting and then uh, that'll probably allow maybe another week or so for final touches and so probably around three or four more weeks left in the diorama series. So make sure you guys stick around so you don't miss anything. And uh, like I said before, I'm not a professional dioramaist. I'm not uh, really good at this. this is my one of my first dioramas, so it's not going to look the best, but I'm doing the best that uh, we can right now, and I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So make sure you guys stick around, and I'll see you guys in the next video.